Millions World Day 1A, our 25k dollar event with a 10 million dollar guarantee. As you can see, we join these guys coming into the 3k, 6k level. She has made it 16k and Francois with ace, eight of clubs in the next seat. He's coming in for a three band, a little, little timed here. Looks like she's counting out a four bet. Yeah, and it's 110. Wow, so small. But now, obviously, his alarm bells are ringing now. So right, right. It's such a it's such a small four bet, but then she only has 300k behind. So yeah. you know, she is crying out for some action. Mm. We can see plenty of good enough pot odds for him to call with the mm. with the matchup he's up against. But of course, you know, a set of clubs, you, you you don't quite know what's good for you when the flop comes. That's to you, Roberto. Thing. That's the thing. He is obviously going to decide that that's just too good a price to fold a suited mm. ace. So already 237,000 chips in the pot as we had to a 9, 6, 7, 1 club flop. Well, there we go. This is it, right, Roberto? <laughs> these, these two have to get this in. <laughs> and obviously a, a flop that, you know, should never help her hand. Is it 9, 6, 7? You know, she's repping big pairs and yes. uh, ace king, whatever pre flop. So, but if he thinks there's any chance she's folding, then of course. There, Jam. there we go. He does move all in. You'll see it's pretty close to a flip here, Roberto. Of course, yeah. Francois can catch that ace as well as his straight. Mm. So our first all-in of the week here at the Caribbean Poker Party. A club, maybe. Well, five Straight. instant death. Wow. Just an eight for a chop. Mm. Uh, not to be as the nine pairs on the river. So That's how you do it. It's easy as that. It's just easy. You see, Roberto, you... You're getting ready for tomorrow. You need this. Is what you need to be doing? Three <laughs> bit with the ace eight. Call the four bet. Flop a straight draw. Get it in and hit the straight. Sounds good. <laughs> Jason's open with his queen sixteen and Vladimir's three bet. Yeah, this 55. is fifty-five. Obviously, from the small blind as well. Uh, yeah. Jason, of course, could continue with a call, having yeah. position and a hand as strong as ace queen. Pretty standard up to now. You go back a year and a half ago. Anyone who played a hand from the small blind, they'd play for a three bet. Nowadays, people flat so much more at the small blind. That yeah. This kind of lends itself to a bit more strength than usual. You want? Tronoski, I, <laughs> I think, has checked the ace, oh. nine, eight flop, obviously. No, he's my checked out a turn, I, I think. Ah. Jason's yeah. checked out a turn, yeah. It's, he has position. <laughs> wow, strong, huh? I think it was a genuine mistake. Of course, with Jason, yeah, it was yeah. a genuine mistake. There's no way all right. he's. Let's yeah. reconsider all this real quick. Let me get my shit together. <laughs> Cards down as slow the action down as well, and of course, uh, Vladimir with you can turn some straight draws and flush yeah. draws holding the jack of diamonds. Yes, he's he can th always think that he's still good here against 10 jack, and but he's got the jacks in his hand, the blockers, so right, I guess smaller streets, you know, flush draws. This is this is a bet where. He, he's not expecting to get caught by many worse hands other than the draws, yes, right? He's yeah. just protecting he just against draws. The draws, really. So we're one away at the bat. Jason makes the call. <laughs> well, the seven of diamonds. Well, I think he checks, yeah. He did check, yeah. And is this is what Jason I just checks back. Hands, yeah, he's just going to so check good. back. Yeah, oh, he goes. He goes, I want to bluff my hands just so good, at, you know, thinking they can yeah, make yeah. ace-king fold. <laughs> No, I, I like the check there. I'll, I'll do that. Yeah. Interesting spot here for yes. Paul Roberto. This queen. I you were going to bet three bet. I like this. It was tempting. It was pretty big, more than 4x with a, with a razor caller in front. This yeah. is nice sizing, yeah. Roberto. They are deep stacked, as we keep it's saying. Got the button as well, which is good. And Jason's thinking, yeah, if he had to deuce, he could get, get a big pot going if he's got that premium hand. There you go. Eight, six, three, two spades. Not a good flop for Paul, but no help for Jason with red deuces. Yeah, go okay. inspect Paul just to fire here. Yeah, he doesn't really make any that many better hands for. This is probably one of the ones he does make for. But yeah, well, so you, so that is a possibility. Well, look at this. He is going to take one off. 
He just peed instead. Right, yeah, he's forcing Paul to fire a second barrel if he wants to win this part, isn't he? He mm. kind of knows his customer a little bit, Paul. Uh, definitely the more conservative side, isn't he? Yeah. He's got the five you can hit now as well. There we go. He there is he going does. to pull chips out, and that should be the end of this. Yeah. I can't see Jason continuing. And kicks it in. So nice I play like there it. from Paul. Paul showing there that, you know, when he wants to put it in, he can fire away. Yeah. Which is good to see. Uh, Steve, of course, someone used to play a lot with us back, back in the day yeah. in the, the poker tour and was watching a lot nice in uh, Nottingham. Good to see him rejoining us again here. So Our first stream of the week. I'm gonna check if I get a good yeah. hand. Well, <laughs> Ten's doing the rounds. Francois' turn this time from the cutoff. Yes. And, uh, oh. Alan, well, Alan Schein flops a set. Oh Quickly he checks. He said he's going to check if he get a good hand. Let's have a quick look into uh, Alan. See, he's over the million dollar mark in, in earnings on the Hen Robin. He seems to be a regular in the Aria High Rollers. Seems a never ending stream of 25Ks at the Aria. Wow. So, no strangers at this buying level. Yeah, I'll like to take one off. Of course, going to be a lot of hands here, Roberto. Yeah. You know, club draws. And wow, makes us straight on the river. Wow. And it won't be the worst looking card for Alan, will it? He doesn't expect Francois, I think, to have too many 10x here. This, this is a situation where you have to understand what your opponent's likely to call with. Yeah. Right? If you raise here and your opponent folds the set, then it's a bad raise, isn't it? You would bet bigger with a flush, wouldn't he? He knows. I, he, I mean, Francois knows he would have, Alan would have bet bigger with a flush. So I think he put himself in this position by, by making that small bet. He's piecing this together. Yeah, he's going to fall. fall. I got yeah. trips. There we go. Cool. We've we've got got trips, he says. Trips no good. No. This was straight. Takes this one down. That's going to fire his belly a little bit. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't bother me at all. Well, Francois raising under the gun plus one. And yet again, yeah. Jason Kuhn in action. And as Roberto yeah. keeps pointing out, he's getting the hands. Yeah, it's a perfect spot for him as well. Like, you know, with everything that's happened and he's opened the last pot. He's just lost. But as like we say, we talk about people less experienced there. They might do something different there because of what's happened. Right. Well, a nice looking window card for Francois. Hand the Jack of Clubs. A 10 pops out behind it, so yeah. he does take the lead. And I guess the benefit of betting here is you're almost certainly going to yeah. see the river if you want to, aren't you? Yeah. There is the core. These two head to the turn. It's all silence on the table for the first time today. Five helps neither player. No. Right or wrong, do neither, in my opinion. Just how you feel. He likes the bet. 175. Quite a big bet. Yeah, and so what, 220 in the yeah, past. The pot's got serious now. 175, and what's the next bet going to be? And <coughs> yeah, this is this is one of the hands I guess he's he's gonna call with on the turn and fold the river yeah. with. These are this this second pair kind of fits that bracket. Yeah. Huh? And he knows he could be up against his king, king, queen as well. Right. All these hands. And of course a heart draw may have turned. Well, there we go, he's gets unlucky here as Jason improves yeah. to top pair on the river. And now it's just for Jason this when is checked to. Is he gonna put a nice little value bet here? Could have obviously got rivered by yeah. with that king as well. He checks back. Yeah. Expect, you know, realizing he doesn't get a lot of value from one pair of hands. No, so. the pot is big enough as well, so he's thinking, right. you know, but. See, well, it looks like Eric Seidel joining yes. the feature table there, Roberto. Very interesting. Straight to business. <laughs> oh, gee, we've got fives against aces here. Eric's opened the 20k, and yeah. Jason's. <laughs> It is 75 or 70, is it? Yeah, Eric's first bit of action. Yeah. Straight away getting three bet. And you see they had a little chat when they sat down. Oh, how have you been in New York City? Yeah, How's it been? Yeah, All that exactly. friendly. Oh, by the way, here's a three bet. Get a shot cloth on him. <laughs> <laughs> Eric with a pretty easy call. Yep. Hmm. 
not the five, but we still got something. I like the check. Yeah, Jason, of course, does check back there. Again, these players playing yeah. a, a range game here, aren't they? This is a range that suits Eric way more than Jason. That's, yeah, that's what I was saying earlier on about the check on the flop there. But apart, you can get, you can still get your value on the next streets. Right, and he, and he protects the times when he's three bet here with yeah, overcards. And the fours there. Wow. You want Eric to rep kind of a, yeah. a really big hand on nothing. Yeah. He's gone for the hundred. Which, which. Wow. I think he's crazy. Yeah. Wow. I don't know what he's thinking there. He's thinking something different to me there. <laughs> <laughs> Eric having none of it. Well, very weird hand there. Jason Coon, three by the aces. Saw a very safe looking flop, checked it back, checked back the turn, and then raised the river as a bluff. Raised 18,000. Well, Paul looks sound a suited ace in the big blind. Yeah, nice spot for him to defend here, Roberto. Yeah. Easy to defend. What a flop for him, ace, queen, five, ace is up. Two clubs on board, Tronowski does have one. Again, this is a spot, yeah. just kind of betting to knock out yeah. those random hands like eight, nine that have so much equity against him. Doesn't really expect to get called by many a worse hand here. No. Oh, wow. wow, what a turn card. Wow. Exactly the card. That is the card, that is the only card that he wants to see. And now, I was going to say, what size are you going to go for here? 45. I mean, I like to go big here because right. what you, you, you put in your, you've got to put, you, you're thinking he's got the ace, whatever, and he's going to make another call, so I like. Right, you want to get three yeah. streets against an ace rather yeah. than two against a queen. And, and you do still want to price out the club draws, don't you? You don't want to get out yeah. draw. Exactly, so it works both ways. I mean, I much. Here comes the check raise wow. from Paul Newey. Wow. Waited one street too long to pull this. Does just flat. Newey now screaming for a blank in his mind. Yeah. Thinks he has the best hand. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Blood card. Full house for Paul Newey. Will be no good. It's Troinoski. Rivers oh. sevens full, and 1.3 and 1.5 behind, with only 330,000 in the pot. Vladimir's got to check you in case he thinks, he, in case he did get the miss flush drawing, but then he's going to wow. go. Wow, that pool's going big wow. as well. Pool's bet the pot, oh. or near enough the pot. Troinoski going to do his best acting he's job here. I don't know, if, is he like doing that? Like, he, he's not thinking, no way. But Troinoski is look, now he beat. thinks he's got the queen. So look, you see? Wow. Told you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he did, he, the way, the, I could tell is, you know, the way he like, sort of like, didn't yeah. like, he gave too much, way too much off when he was thinking that. Wow. Oh, we've got a big three bet and a call here with the Queen Jack. Yeah, I didn't like this Queen Jack offsuit, not, not one of the better hands to be calling a three bet with, but no, look at this flop for him. Smashes it, pairs, pairs the top card and has that queen of spades. Yeah. Eric checks his second pair. Well, Anatoly is going to bet 60,000. I'd probably like a check back here myself personally uh, right. if I was Anatoly. Just to like see, I mean, the pot's got big all of a sudden. Just to see where I am on the turn, where I still don't know quite. Although you s we can see the cards here and he's obviously big against what's out there, but he's not to know that, is he? What? What could be really going on against a good player like Eric as well? Well, that's an interesting card. Ace of clubs on mm. the turn. Eric was the three better, remember? Yeah. Not surprising to see that one quickly check through. Yeah. And pretty hard, you'd imagine, for Eric to win this pot now. After a big bluff at it this. It would be a good, it'd have to be a juicy bet. Because if he's bluffing, he's, got, he's got a size up to knock out like yeah. the ace of spades, isn't he? If he did pull the trigger, probably I think he would have won the pot. Right. Because like you said, three bet pre-flop, didn't bet the flop and the ace has come. 
Yeah, he's checking. Of course. He does check. Is Anatoly still in Sochi with that coat done, or is he in the Caribbean? <laughs> yeah. Where are we? <laughs> this is our new feature table lineup. You see Jason Kuhn leading the way. We saw him leave our previous feature table not too long ago. He's been doing quite well on this outer table. Oh, just Giuseppe faced a big three bet once more from Jason Kuhn, and once more Jason Kuhn has a big hand. Steffi peels with Queen Jack Clubs. 265,000 chips in the pot as we see an Ace Jack 5, two diamond flop, and well, once again another good flop for Jason when he's 3 bet with Ace King. Top pair with the diamond draw covered, holding the Ace of Diamonds. You're looking at you know some of the greatest players of all time, and you're expecting them to be bluffing um, and making moves um, when really a lot of what's going on is. Um, yeah, certainly a 65,000 chip bet will be called. Giuseppe holding a pair. Yeah, I think that's before oh the bet, in fact. Well, there you go. There is Jin for Giuseppe. 567 behind, 395 in the pot. Not a card Jason's going to be wild about seeing. No. I suppose, especially when he's got the ace of diamonds. This is a very easy spot, isn't it, for Giuseppe to get his stack in over two streets, holding just 567 behind. Yeah, a couple of hundred thousand here. Oh, he's gone big, 250. Probably would like to sing a little bit smaller here, but Jason holding Ace King can't see how this won't work. Yeah, I thought maybe maybe 150. Right, he goes 150 and you can shuffle 400 on the river yeah, into, yeah. into yeah, 650. Yeah, he, he, he doesn't have to divide what he's got left into two and get it in an equal part. Yeah, Jason just calls 317 behind for Giuseppe, heading to the river. 900,000 in the pot. It's, it's a great river for Giuseppe, isn't it? Yeah, of course, two flush draws on board. Yeah, it's a, no, no, no worries. Both brick out. Jason's got so many chips here. It's, uh, does, of course, make the call. Giuseppe with the full double up. And, and doesn't he look excited about it? <laughs> look at this. We've got some action here. Kristen Bicknell finds Ace Queen on the button. She raises it up. Daniel divorces with Ace King and the small blind. This guy is 100 big blinds deep. Does raise it to about 4x the open. Mm. Frederick, you, s you imagine Kristen would just call here, you know, ace queen. Plays pretty well, post spot, doesn't it? Not as nice as it if it was suited. But I think you're dead right. Wants to keep some weaker hands in. Let, let her opponent bluff if she hits. Mm. Yeah, well, 7 7 4 2 diamonds. That one's all Daniel picking up the nut flush draw to go with his ace king high. Some chips in, drawing nearly dead. She's going nowhere. Nearly half a million in this one. As we head to the Queen oh of Hearts God. on the turn. This is kind of one of the better cards for him to continue bluffing on, right? If he wants to make Absolutely, Kristen yeah. fold her hands like, like eights or nines by the river, this is exactly the kind of card he'd want to barrel on. Yeah, right. I think he's probably thinking that... He's, I think he's, he's, think he's thinking of a, a two-bullet strategy right, from here, exactly. I'd imagine. How much to bell on the flop so that the <laughs> river bet can still get folds? Well, this is where the really good players are, are playing on a different level, too. Uh. If she calls, he's betting half He's betting half pot when he moves all in, which he can do with a wide range of hands, which makes yep. it much harder for her to call with sort of mediocre holdings. It looks like just a call. Now, you see there are some rivers that Daniel would like to see a diamond or a king. Give him it won't like an ace. Well, five, no good. Now, let's see. Will he follow through with that bluff? But she doesn't have a lot of queen X. He could maybe put her no, on queen jack of diamonds, but he, he, he blocks king queen of diamonds. 
course you could have a hand like Ace Queen. <laughs> Did you see the look he gave her? Of course, he won't be calling with Ace High. Well, a nice huh? pick up there for Kristen. But I remember Tony uh, went to work in the city. And we we assumed that he'd, he'd given up, but he was actually just going in to find out how the indexes work. <laughs> so Tony Tony used to come into the Vic, uh, you know, at half five in the evening with the suit and to kind of tie a little bit of skew and get back into that 50 quid game. Little did we know he was planning a, a th takeover of the gambling world. Right. It's a great story. Ace, 10, deuce, rainbow, Jason's ace way out in front here. Dan may get a little trouble with having paired that 10, and you can see his kicker is dominated. This seems to be captain quite a lot today, or is it my imagination? Is it, there's a lesson in here, isn't there, not to play these raggy hands? That's a bit too late to be giving me that lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody get into too much trouble with the second pair? It's all right. It's all a bit, a little bit about the guy with the best hand uh, using a bit of pot control. Not necessarily to avoid uh, losing his stack, but to, to to make it small enough that he can get paid off by one of those hands. Well, here we go. Oh, oh yeah. You may well see some carnage here. When I say carnage, it's going to be a. Uh, it's going to be call. carnage. It's going to be three streets <laughs> of calling, isn't it? I mean, Dan's never going to raise this hand, but Jason can win as much as he wants here by betting three streets. I'm not sure that the, the thinking that much of a two pair, even though, even though it's absolutely slaughtered here, wouldn't be considered a moody in the Vic back in the day. Brick on the river. And checks again, Jason. All the two pairs would have called, and so there we go. He's going to go big, as you'd expect, because you're, you're targeting a pretty strong range at this point. Yeah. This is why these guys are yeah. playing a, a 25,000 tournament. Yeah, he pretty close there. He was right on the border. And I've gone right off her. <laughs> there you go. That is the next feature table for you. We'll line up. It is the man who they thought had the year of all years, Fedor Holtz, only to be surpassed by Justin Bonomo this year. Daniel finds King Jack of Diamonds in the hijack. He also calls. And Smith in the small blind. Well, Ooh. pocket tens. This is going to be a this three could, bet. This could be think. fun. If you could be bothered. <laughs> but why would you want to leave yeah, yourself exactly, and Exactly, yeah, exactly. This, this is the best stream. There you go. Dan has three bet to 140. Now... Justin's going to want to call with some hands here pre-flop. So when you do want to make calls pre-flop in these situations, you do want to have uh, some hands that protect that range. And aces is the best of those, of course. Best hand to slow play. Heads up to the flop. Three, deuce, oh, wow. deuce. This is great news for Justin, isn't it? Yeah, it's, all, it's just a question of how this money goes in now. <laughs> Heading more towards uh, 140, maybe. There you go, 110. So he's gone for a third of the pot. Justin, of course, now surely we're just a call. He'll have some other hands they want to raise with on that flop, but again, Aces protects those hands he wants to call with. If Dave Colclough is watching, he'd <laughs> <laughs> be, be quite impressed with this. Obviously, the spade isn't uh, isn't fantastic, but it's, uh, it could be an awful lot worse. Well, there is the all-in and a call down to the situation. He's in needing a 10 or spade on this river. And well, oh King of God. Spades, oh, look at that little grin. 
the cheeky grin from Dan Smith as he makes a flush. And Bonomo left with just 10 big blinds. Uh, this is a, I mean, we keep saying it, whichever table it's going to be, it's going to be star studded. And this is another great one. I wonder where to get a battle, but he won't say it. spin penny, too. I saw spin penny playing at GG. So funny. That's for sure. A Ken Brenny we need right now. Ken Brenny. Ken Brenny. <laughs> we just got a Jack three, <laughs> three, three <laughs> rainbow <laughs> chance <laughs> and Croc with the backdoor flush draws. Croc to make a seabet against two players in the blinds. It's like 14 Pretty good games. In like a 16 player field or something. Yeah. You gotta know when. Chance I'm sure will continue here with Ace High and the backdoor flush draw. Minus. For sure, minus. Like <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he's done something that <laughs> For sure, minus EV, 100%. I probably should have just packed it up when I started off on that heater. <laughs> 200. Uh, what, what was his name? Is it da David Williams? Did you hear that story of him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I think Christopher's going to work. I have another bit like of pop here. Long, well, obviously, a, a bet's never going to make a jack three fold, but he can certainly yeah, make ace highs and king highs fold yeah, betting this turn. Yeah. Yeah. It's like what he's going after. Yeah. He nearly has to. Yeah. And the, the timing's spot on because exactly what chance has. And of course, a lot of the cards, a lot of the hands chance would have called with on the flop. Oh, cards that. A combos that involve backdoor flush draws and of course a ten of diamonds. Please remember the boards that none of those cards like none of those hands can now continue. He <coughs> sits in this game forty hours later on Monday morning. One of the better cards from the like bluff. Up to He's playing five hundred a thousand PLO in Bobby's room. Yeah. He's up nine hundred thousand. Calls his buddy. His buddy's like, you get like get out of here, let's go to the strip club or whatever. Like you just booked like a sick win. He's like, No, I'm gonna make a million. Like I'll quit another hundred thousand. So Have you heard like, this story down to before? Six. He's like, okay, just eat like down to four, he's like, I just gotta get the five. Next thing you know, he's got no more money. He's like, hey, Tito, throw me a hundred thousand. So his buddy calls him like two days later, and he's like, oh, I didn't hear from you. Like, how'd that end up going? He's like, I, I owe Tito 250k. Who was it? David Williams. Oh my god. Chris Kruk aces in the cutoff. He's gonna raise it up. Fedor defends a 9 10 off suit. This will test his run good. Okay, there we go. Nine five. He's halfway there. Yeah, yeah. That's it. that's the hard bet. He's in the race. Not just aces, but the ace of spades in hand. Yeah, I was going to mention that. Pretty nice situation to be in. Does bet thirty thousand. Better, of course, makes the call with the second pair. Uncle Gary's here. Jack on the turn gives Fedor a gut shot straight draw to go with his pair. And I was about to say, for that reason, he's going to go a little bit bigger. And it looks like he's counting out a bet over the size of the pot. Because a lot of those hands that continue here are pair plus draws. That's so crazy that you do that. They're going to want to call. So he's going to size up with his strong hands and his bluffs here. 180,000 the bet. I would never do it. I I've tried doing it before and I, I just don't. It doesn't feel just, real to me. Yeah, I agree. But you don't know what happens. Oh, you, oh sorry, you know that it happens. That it happens. Mm -hmm. It does sort of like make the call. Like, oh, Pretty big pop form in here. Fedor has I, just over pop behind. I'd give him the call to see if that actually swat some people. <laughs> and then they're playing Eight on the end. So. Oh, six, seven of spades. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, 6 7 is yeah. quite hard to call an oversized, like over pot size bet on the turn, so I don't think he'll have that. But Kruk does decide yeah. to check back his aces. <laughs> Fedor. Wow. Mux is at 9. And I'm trying to watch a game that's like. Yeah, he decided to get the big bet uh, in on the time. Only check, huh? Yeah. Huh? Well, here we go. Yeah. I mean, only one pair. It's true. Sunglasses. What? Sunglasses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have a better idea. Oh wow! Sunglass player. Yeah, the dream spot. Oh, 
Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. It does it move all in. I'm not surprised he knew how to, how to do it. Careful, I still have cards. It's a beautiful yeah, spot. Yeah, yeah. So is everyone else behind you. Except Tim. You have one more chip by your elbow. Or your other elbow? Oh, wait. Chris didn't flip under the gun? What? No, no, I pulled it. I knew this this payoff was gonna. I would, I would well, the limp under the gun with the ace jack. Scary. I can't talk too much either. <laughs> no, ta no shot clock. We can talk as much shit as you want. And he's got some kind of an excuse to call here, doesn't he? I just yeah. I just got to cut your head off. He's tough. He's tough. He's tough. And Nick here, I think, even with sixes, he may want to play. Yeah, look at this. I actually, wait. When you see watch Twitch, I have a decision. It's impressive. I didn't know you did. Oh yeah, he'd be the last man. Looked like he could be on Duck Dynasty a few months ago. All right. You, you he's gonna let it go. Yeah, and, and now carry. I think I think you can make an argument for calling here. It looks like he's just kicked it in straight away. Oh, Fedor just wants to have a little bit of chat. I might do it. <laughs> Not the player I expected to take. <laughs> If I had the 10s here, I wouldn't want him to call me with the jack nine. Extra stuff going on. You, you know he's going to hit a 10 for a straight somewhere in the middle of it. <laughs> one more level, huh? There you go, one more level, he says. I know Andy Black would have been all done with the ace jack here without even yeah, thinking about it. Yeah, then had to look back to remind gamble. himself if there was Look, <laughs> if he's there was gambling. Shooting. Oh my god. Limp cooler off with jack nine. Pure gamble here. Right. And well, oh queen, god. queen at nine. <laughs> It's up to five outs. Flying it. <laughs> well, another queen it means queen. just a jack will do it. Or a queen. queen Quad queens with yeah, a jack one. kicker would be a fun way to oh, do it. Oh, yeah. What? Well, jack it is on the end. <laughs> wow. And that is why he's Federal Holtz. Gamble, gamble. Send so Sam Greenwood <laughs> back to and the cash desk. Interestingly <laughs> enough, the ace jack would have had. Uh, yeah. Mm. What? That I. 2.50, isn't that? That's a two day event, or so. As soon as you win this, you know, three days, I believe. Yeah. I should just keep me in mean, it's, it's, it's funny how many players at this table are discussing this 250k. Do you reckon you sort of sat there playing a 25k high roller event and, and having a conversation that you can't join in? <laughs> You're like, oh, I thought I was playing with the big boys, but it turns out this is just their warm up. Yeah, these guys are planning on getting up there for the 250. Well, Fedor cutting out a C bet on the 974 rainbow board. Three is a little bit too vulnerable to check back. Chris going nowhere with that king high, does check call, deuce rolls off on the turn. Followed by pool party act two from 6.30 on to 10.30. There's a half hour break there for you, change swimsuit. These guys are talking about 250Ks, you're, you're reading the extracurricular activities, huh? <laughs> Speaking of 250Ks, here comes I the two. But if you stuck to the recreational activities, you may, you may well have a better week <laughs> than quite a few of these lads. Well. Could be knocked out. Chris has bet 275k on this very wet looking river, and no way Fedor can call here. Wow. Well. This one here? Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess the old bluff on it has been in print again. And then they said, like, oh yeah, like, play this guy on this network, like, he's a huge fish. And then really it was just, like, him playing on that account. Like getting to see the whole cards that the other guys were playing. You really don't know who that is. Oh, like man. he, like you're he missing out. He's, he's like, yeah, play this fish. Like, let me sweat, like and then like the group like sweat or whatever. So it's like four guys sweating. This guy playing the fish, but the fish is really just like gyro pulling on the other account. Yeah. And they we figured it out because he like disconnected from a Skype call at the same time as he disconnected from the game one time. Yeah. Something like that. And then <laughs> they started like. So wasn't it? The whole, the whole time it was Doggy's head or whatever. No, I think it was... <laughs> these, are, these are really smart uh, guys. I think it was actually some Portuguese guy that Doggy's head knew. Mm -hmm. I think it was a real person, and they just, like, Doggy's said was getting a piece or something. I, I don't I mean, he got, like, a big... He got, like, um, some sponsorship with Poker Strategy. Or, sorry. Dude, man, poker was soft. 
try and listen to this conversation, but Chris Crock is the razor from the button from the cutoff part of me with sixes. And Jake and Chance call from the blinds. All three checked the King Jack four, two heart flop. Five of clubs comes off on the turn. Jake has a gut shot of Broadway and the ace of hearts in hand. He's gonna check a second time. Chance, second pair. Sort of feel pretty confident that's out in front right now. Totally be happy enough, wouldn't he? Do you know whether to battle check? He does decide to check. Well, Chris may thought his sixes are good. Maybe yeah. worth a little bet now. Another undercard on the board. And he's going to just try and get to showdown. Well, ten on the end gives Jake a pair, but I see chance now with the. Winning hand. Well, he's got a value better, didn't he? Yeah, it looks like about Jake has a lot of Broadway combos in his hand, wouldn't he? Plus some of the smalls. It's hard for Chance to bluff here too often. At the end of the World Series. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Counts out some of the 100k chips and flashes a glance over the chance to try and get a read. And there it is, the check raise to 300,000 with the ace of hearts in hand. Going for the bear race play and hold them. Notice chance doesn't have too many strong hands the way this hand's played out. Mm. <coughs> yeah, man, everyone's pushing tiny edges. Chance no. gives it up, nice bluff from Jake. No fun <coughs> stuff anymore. Why him specifically? Well, it's Timothy picked up on that perhaps. Fedor may be light in the small. Pretty hard. Calling yeah. with a wider range yeah. than usual, if so. Yeah. Well, of course, if, 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 if you get knocked out, you've always got the opportunity to get into the, the, the late night turbo. <laughs> I can't play, yeah. play a turbo well, satellite well, to the I, tournament I you just busted. Yeah. It's an interesting concept. It's not high on the list of things players want to usually do. Well, I was in a hurry, I realized, oh, there's no, there's no dinner break. Yeah, I, really. yeah. I thought it was going to be a dinner break. I was going to stroll in here around 8. Do you have your boat parked here? Is there a place? Or is mm. it over at Atlanta? 25k from the tens. Mm. What time? The feather is having a bit of a dwell up here. In the morning? It? Yeah, but I hadn't slept before my flight, so I kind of just took a nap. Oh. Yeah, just an I explored the whole property yesterday. Yeah, well, it was fine, actually. It's kind of boring. Fedor, of course, calls with that pair and back to a flush draw now. Just question for Timothy oh, yeah, whether to have raised here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You expect that. Decides to go for 110,000. It's a swift fold from Nick. No time clock, so. I think this last one was a better fold than the first one. Shot clock? Yeah, why not have a shot clock? On day three. I don't know why. <coughs> yeah, okay. Well, that, that'll work. That's the that works okay. People will take forever on that day. Yeah, it's more important than that, but they should just have it the whole time. It's just better it's just so much better. Gamble, I don't yeah. understand how people can like play it and not just love it and be like, we always need this. I don't have he is going to call, try and make two I pairs. Or does he know style. he's in terrible shape? Mm -hmm. I have to think about each spot less from like a perspective. Yeah, but you don't want to have to sit there and stare at Vogel saying, looking like one of the fucking ice climbers from Smash Bros for six minutes every yeah. decision. <laughs> I'll just very quickly. <laughs> 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 that was quite the line. <laughs> Fedor improves to a double gut shot draw and pair on the turn. Two for six gives him a straight. He's just gone paper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. Chance to zen. Have you ever had well, you to just hold off your whole stack and thought you had a hand and then the dream you look at it? It's like, what, what are these two cards? Yeah. Timothy yeah. bets so 175. I'm not an idiot. Even like double. No. Well, one of them would have been enough. <laughs> I mean, a yeah. lot of them just superfluous. Just, just being fed or holtz is enough. Ace on the river gives like Timothy four, the nuts. Aces full of sevens. <laughs> and, then, and then I like emailed stars and I was like, what the hell? Like, my cards changed like mid hand or whatever. I mean, this is crazy. Like, I'm sure I had nine. And they're like, no, oh, like, here's the raw hand history. Like, you had nine eight. Yeah, and I have a sixty three. Sometimes you just gotta no. forty five. Be very light call there. There are.
are the outer tables. All these players won't be in day 1B tomorrow, so get on down and register. 